everyone. I want to bring you a quick update. Yes, it's been an incredible year so far. We're just even just looking back on this year, we're really amazed to see um, how much has been done. Our team has grown, the outreaches we've been able to do, the ministry, the training and teaching, and just building up of the people in our community. It's truly amazing, and, and we know it's because of God's grace and also you are partners with us here on the ground and uh, you may not be here physically but your support financially and through prayer and even just your feedback and encouragement it means a lot we just want to say thank you so much for all the the sacrifices that you have made to be part of this ministry here in thailand i guess our update you know all of you receive our newsletters and they feel like they're getting a bit longer as well. There's just so much to report every three months. But I guess on this video, we want to really talk about where we feel the Lord leading us from here. We want to just remind ourselves of, you know, what has been done in the last three years, but really, yeah, we want to share with you what's at our heart for where, where we're going from here. What we have done so far this year, uh, we were able to set up our kindergarten and our purpose of this to provide quality education for early child development for our communities and as an outreach as well. Uh, we're very thankful to our partners who made this possible. A few of our staff while we're setting up we were just joking about it. Man, it made me want to be like a little kid again. So <laughs> it just the setups and the, the playground equipment is all learning equipment that can be played and learn as well and so that so we're really blessed by that and uh, we're excited to to be the tools of reaching out to our community and as well as being a blessings to the moms that we are rescuing here. They are able to enroll while they're doing the vocational training and we have in projects and we already have few families that have been able to come and drop their kids here. And one of the day I came in to, uh, I didn't have my camera with me but to see the joy of the parents came to pick up their kids and just they, they were just so happy in, in this environment at the school at Sozo Life. So far, just looking back in the last three years, just to give you just a very brief update, you know, we've really worked on developing our property, this land that we've been given um, to, to be utilized as much as it can. And so you've seen along the way the different things that we've done. And we are so close to finishing the development of this facility that we're standing on right now. If you could be praying with us, we have two more projects that need to be finished for this facility to be fully functioning. We need the final Haven row of homes. We have seven rooms available now, but one more row of homes will allow us to house 10 up to 15 women and children here with us at Sozo Life. And the second thing is, you know, our Wednesday night meetings are growing and we want to be able to invite more people into our community. One of the ways we do that is by providing a meal on Wednesday night. We invite families around to come and join. But the problem is that we don't have enough undercover space to provide that. And so it gets tricky in rainy season, which is a long season here as well, um, to try and find cover, you know, while we're serving dinner. Um, behind our chapel, there's a big space that we would like to develop into a food, uh, an undercover eating hall, just an open, open air kind of, but undercover eating hall that we can host this weekly event and, and invite people to the service, invite them to come share a meal. These are the two things that we're looking to finish, hopefully by the end of the year, or at least get started so that we can finish it early next year. But we're just amazed at what's been done so far and our team is growing, um, not just growing in numbers, but growing in their faith and growing in their walk with God. We've, done, we've invested a lot into our team training and development, especially last year, and we're seeing the fruit of that this year. A lot of them are able to take on a lot more responsibility, confidence in leadership. Um, we've been able to delegate a lot more to the team and just see them all working well together. It's a joy to our heart because it, this is their ministry and, and they're the ones that we want to empower to carry this forward and that's been such a huge success and we're looking forward to continue to see them grow and each department develop as their own ministries. Another big thing that we were able to accomplish uh, last year was the opening of our vocational center. That has been great, it's been such a joy to see the women gaining skills, gaining confidence and just enjoying their time here. It's not just sitting around bored with nothing to do, they have purpose, they have vision. And as Dakota said, the kindergarten that we've opened up fits in with that too by providing 
that early childhood and development, it is allowing the mums and the women that we rescue to also develop themselves and overall just be a very holistic improvement to everyone's lives. These projects have not been small, but you have been so faithful to stand with us. Every time we've sent out an email with a need or where we're up to, so many of you have just said, yep, I'm gonna give towards that, I'm gonna help towards that. And we've, we've been so touched and so blessed to see that happen. And just wanna again say thank you. As Karana says, we are finishing up our final projects here on this property. We'll finish a few minor projects we had, like such as the wall at the kindergarten and a few other projects that are um, pending. Like we are ready to expand our farm as long and we've been trialing and uh, working on a farm and we've uh, done a phenomenal job. And uh, we're just uh, hoping to believe in for the land uh, nearby us so that we could uh, expand to help in uh, food secure for the ministry as well for the self-sufficient uh, self projects um, that to, to feed in all the uh, other aspects of the ministry and possibly we can uh, perhaps even sell some to help toward the income for the ministry. Long-term focus is that we can be self-sustained, be self-support and um, especially when it uh, to help reduce the food costs of our ministry. And then we have our, our internship program have been going really well, proud of all uh, of the young men and women that came through the program and have been, uh, ones that have left, they have wrote us uh, beautiful cards, how much they have been impacted by and being able to learn, um, preparing them to enroll with the universities. We believe it's time come that we wanted to train up more of the young leaders to be able to impact their churches, go back to their communities and be bringing revival into different parts of, of church areas. And we wanted to partner with church, we want to help with the local church in these matters and we will believe in the, the generations to come that they will be the power, bringing the true gospel and living the, the life of discipleship. We had initiated our leadership program, uh, especially um, students that are in Rome with us. So excited to, to see what this unfold and uh, the progress of uh, in taking our, all, all our interns here at Sozo Life. Another really exciting step that we are in the prayer and planning stages um, is uh, we felt from the Lord at the beginning of the year that it was time to launch out and test the ground or just scout the ground uh, along the border. It's been, a, it's been in our hearts for many, many years to have a base on the border where we go, which is in Mesot, to continue to reach into Burma, reach into the Karen villages that we have done, we've been doing for so many years. The thing that the Lord's put on our heart is we want to be able to go and serve the community in some way, whatever the need is. And so these next few months for us, leading up to January, we have been praying into what this ministry will look like, what this base will look like. It won't look the same as the base we have here. It'll just be a meeting point where we can gather people, we can provide some training, counsel in regards to the, so the social work needed there, you know, provide any kind of um, support that we can offer to help the, the existing missionaries, the existing people at work there, they need so much support. And um, the need along the border is so, so great. And I guess our hearts is, we see how tired and weary and we just see the overwhelming burden that so many people that have been called there are carrying. And if we can go in some way and, and give some support, you know, our, our desire is to support the leaders, the missionaries, the local pastors there, you know, who need refreshing, need encouragement. One of the things that, you know, we're praying about is starting a gathering, starting, you know, a possible church fellowship there to minister to people um, and, and make sure that they're being taken care of so they can continue to, to do the best for the community in Mesot. Aside from that, training up our, some of our Karen young guys, you know, they have a passion to reach out to their own people. If we have a base there that they can go from, evangelize, give aid or whatever that that we can do from there, um, it would be more effective. That's another huge um, thing in the works, another plan in the works, and we really appreciate your prayers with us as we step into this, as we pray into this, and uh, we don't want to rush into anything, but 
We want to prayerfully take each step and consider um, what God would have us do. But we do feel the call to go. And so uh, we will update you more probably early next year about where we're at in regards to setting up the base on the border. Dakota and I would not be able to be released to expand or do more without our team really stepping up. Um, this is a great need. Um, we believe for their salaries every month and God is faithful every single month, but this is probably the biggest need we have for Sozo Life right now is to, to be able to support our staff um, who are doing all this incredible work. So please be praying with us about that and we hope that you know for the next year or two we can have um, something able to be set aside for them uh, so they can continue to do their work uh, you know without being worried about looking after their own families as well um, please be praying with us about this uh, this is just sh us sharing our heart with you you know we we love our team they have their own families to take care of and they're really stepping out in faith but it's wonderful because their faith is growing God is answering their prayers and uh, as they are serving him and seeking first the kingdom God has been looking after our staff and we want to thank all of you specifically who have given towards our staff in the in the last few months um, thank you so much. We really, from the bottom of our hearts, are so grateful for you and for seeing the importance of the need. So we look forward to updating you again soon in a couple of months and we'll be coming into outreaches and all of that. We have a lot to report on. So probably in the next few months, we'll be sending out another video. In the meantime, if you have any questions or you'd, love to con or you'd like to contact us, um, please don't hesitate to do so. Our email is on the screen. And uh, if you'd like to know how to partner or get involved with what we're doing here at Sozo Life, please also send us an email and we'll be happy to share more detail of what's happening. God bless you and we look forward to staying in touch. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next video.